Nice Gardner painting, uh, uh, George with G Gardner Painting Services. i um, going to show you how to straighten up a, a corner joint like this. It's really off balance. Uh, it's knock down texture to knock down te texture. Um, we're going to create our own line and try to get it nice and straight. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we already taped it. We're going to run a thin bead right along the tape line. And as we go, we're going to smear it right into the tape, just like that. But we're not going to push it too hard. And make sure our finger joints are out of there because those don't look good. Keep a wet rag with you. More talk. More tooling. Uh, I've got a little extra on my finger. Come back that way. I want to make sure that's nice and clean. Again. like this. It takes a sec to do it, but it saves a pile of time trying to cut in a hand line on something like this. I'm going to come from this corner, bring it out. We never talk into corners, we always talk out of corners. That way we don't get too much build up. Smear it in there. Jordan, you have your cup pot, that's his, his cup pot somewhere nearby? Is it a different one, not that one? I think mine might be behind you. Three inch brush in it. Yes indeed. Yeah. All right, so the cock is still a little wet. <clears throat> this is not very professional, but we'll make it work for this. We'll have that discussion after this video. <laughs> and then, we just want to run the paint. The, thing, the trick here is, don't over brush it. We don't generally like taping lines or anything like that, um, because if you over brush it, what happens, Jordan? You take paint off. Yeah, you squeeze paint behind the tape. Guys tend to think that because there's tape there that it'll, it'll protect against anything. That's not true. Uh, I've done or seen many jobs where guys tape it, slam paint all over the tape, they pull the tape and there's nothing but paint underneath. Paint's a liquid, it'll find its way. But you gotta be careful. Do not push too hard. Get plenty of paint on the brush so that you're laying it right across the top without pushing it in too much. This product is a, uh, a bare product. Um, it's, it's not my favorite product. Uh, it's a lot thicker than Sherwin-Williams Promar 200 or something like that. Uh, however, in this case, the homeowner supplied it, so. That's what we got to use. One, one of the things is doing an application like this, thicker paint means you got to put it on, you know, harder and thicker, and that's a pain. Okay, so now we've got it taped, and now we pull. We pull away from the wall, and bing, there it is. Go ahead. And